Hello everybody, it's Dan here and welcome to another game update for the month of September 2014. Finally, you guys, we have a month where new games are actually coming out. Uh, last, I think the last actual new game I covered was, um, what was it? Sniper Elite 3, that's how long ago, and that game came out, well, uh, late May, early July. I did the unboxing for it July 1st, but uh, I actually played the game late May. But anyway... Um, it's good to be it's gonna be good to play some new games a lot of these games I'm really psyched for and I'm anxious to play as you know the gaming season is about to start the big one the one where there's tons of games and uh, we're gonna kick that off in September as it's the, the good thing about September is there's good and there's a lot of content but you're not there's not like a million things like there is in October October is gonna be a gong show and a half ladies and gentlemen October November like usual but that's everyone's favorite time at least when it, when it comes to my channel. Anyways, let's get right into it. If I miss anything, I apologize. Any DLCs I don't mention because I don't know if there's any coming out this month. Please let me know um, because I tend to forget and they don't always tell me. I, it's hard to find out when DLCs come out unless you start looking things up. I wish there was a DLC page or something that said when DLCs release. That would be great to have. And if anybody knows anything of that, please let me know because that'll help me out a lot. So. Also, I want to mention, sorry for the lack of videos the last couple days. Uh, I've been trying to get some things going on. The last thing I posted was Infamous First Light, uh, and I've been kind of waiting for this first release to come out. So, But I got other games planned, so don't worry. Okay, I'm going to let... Which actually leads a segue into something. A lot of people have been wondering where certain games are. Bully Scholarship Edition, I haven't finished it. Oh, I spit quite a bit there. <laughs> uh, I just want everyone to know, I finished the story, yes, but I have a lot of side missions I want to complete, like doing the rest of the classes and some side missions and things, collections maybe if I feel like it, that I can go do. Um, I'll be doing that kind of as a slow thing, of course, uh, because, well, it, it, we, like I said, I have new content coming out, and the new content is, um, you know, comes first, but you know how it is. Anyway, white girl powers activate. Someone said that last time. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, I'm ready to tell you guys what games are coming out this month. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, so as well, I want to mention a lot of people are enjoying uh, Dirt 3 as well, and I haven't played it that much. The only reason I'm not playing Dirt 3 as often is because people aren't as into Dirt 3 as some other games are, so I've been kind of having that as a, ah, oh, man, I feel like playing Dirt, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm headed right now. Um, but yeah, I still have Bully and Dirt sitting over here, which is what I have for my current games uh, going on, you know what I mean? So yeah, we'll have that going on. So forgive me. So don't worry, we'll get some, uh, we'll get these two games, Dirt and Bully are gonna come back as soon as I get a minute. I mean, there's a week in September where there's nothing out. I don't know, it depends how far I am with the other games. Before, if I come back to them, you know, maybe incrementally, maybe now and then. I just want to make sure everyone wants to see what they want to see, you know what I mean? Because, like usual, the interest does die down in the series as it goes on. So I don't want to spam too much of something that people are, are kind of done with and want to move on. So just, just keep that in mind. Uh, that's why I kind of slow down my uploads, like for a certain thing when it's pretty much done. And extra stuff is kind of back burner material. So I apologize for those who love it, but don't worry, it's not going away. I promise, it'll be back. Okay, just wanted to get those games out the way. Now, new content. Today is September 1st. Uh, technically, this game releases today, but its main, its street date release is September 2nd. And I am so excited for this game. Sims 4, and I'm getting the Deluxe Edition. Actually, I've already got it. I purchased it last week. Um, it comes with a bunch of DLC packs, uh, you know, uh, whether it be clothing, uh, some items in game, there's like a crazy tiki DJ bar booth thing, it's crazy. So stuff like that, um, what else? I've already preloaded it, meaning it's ready to go, all I have to wait for is 10 p.m. today, that is right, it's coming out tonight at 10 o'clock p.m., at least on my time, from what I remember, I'll have to check. There is a countdown timer, uh, let me just open up Origin. Origin will give me the official release date of, uh, of The Sims. Let me see. Yeah, it's just under. Wow, Mass Effect 3 is five bucks right now, guys, on Origin. All right, just under seven hours. So it's three o'clock now. Um, so basically, yeah, at 10 o'clock my time, 10 p.m. Uh, right now it's three o'clock p.m. 
uh, mountain time, of course. And yeah, that's when I'll be able to play The Sims because I've already got it downloaded, it's been purchased, downloaded, and it's ready to go. Once this timer hits zero, I can actually click play game and I'll start right away. And as you guys know, I did my create a sim. I believe it was last week. So my sims are already made, they're ready to go. So all we have to do now is jump in. Tara and I, we're gonna buy a house in the sims and start a, start a life. So I think it's gonna be cool, a virtual life. So I hope you guys stick around for that. I'm really excited for that. Um, next up, coming out a week later on September 9th, is Destiny. I'll be getting that bad boy on PS4. Um, regular editions, there are collector's ones, but from what I saw, this game, I, I'm gonna say it now, and this is my personal opinion upon playing the beta, and I'm sure a lot of people may agree with me here. Uh, I, I feel like Destiny's very overhyped. It's a nice looking game, it looks pretty good. Uh, the game was indeed enjoyable, but it felt a lot like Borderlands. It's not something new that I've, you know, that I've never played before. And the collector's editions for what you get were, you know, let me let me pull it up while I have it. Let me pull this bitch up. Uh, let's see, uh, Destiny. Let me take a look. So yeah, the game alone, like now, g games are now seventy dollars on the, and basically everywhere, games are seventy dollars. Bullshit. Like, I thought it was just next gen, but like PS4, you know, and Xbox One next gen consoles, they were ten dollars more. But no, no, Destiny on 360 and PS3 is seventy dollars as well. I, I don't understand that. It's bullshit. Um. So yeah, you have two editions. Okay, here you can't get them anymore. I passed the pre-order point, but that's fine. I don't want them anyway. Um, there's the limited edition. You know what? I'll, I'll just give you the best one. There's the ghost edition, and that's for Xbox 360. I'll pull up the PS4 one, because that's the one that I would have got. Where are we? PS3. Here it is. All right, so the PS4 one, it comes with a ghost. Ugh, ow. Kind of bit my lip there. It comes with like a, a ghost, uh, your own personal ghost. Oh, oops, image missing. Good job, GameStop. But it, it, it's like rid ridiculously overpriced. The thing is a hundred and what, or is it? $165 for this and you get, oh, where's the list? It's actually not telling you, probably because it did before. It's giving you stuff that I don't think is worth it. The only thing they give you is like a remote, I think it's like a remote controlled ghost, you know, the things that follow you around. And apparently that's worth $164. And then the limited edition, which is $110, is the same thing minus the ghost. And I remember looking at the limited edition. I'm going to click on this bad boy. This is the PS4 limited edition. Uh, I think, yeah, like all I'm seeing is game, a map, cards, and DLCs. There's no actually figuring. So you're paying $110 for like papers and DLC. Fuck that shit. That's just me, okay? So that's why I didn't bother with the Destiny uh, limited or ghost edition. That's the only reason. Some things, I mean, you if you're going to pay $170 on a game and it's collector's edition, it's got to be worth it to me, and Destiny doesn't really do it for me. If it was a Mass Effect game or a Star Wars style game, I'd probably do it because I love that kind of stuff, but a Destiny game, not so much. Anyway, I've been on enough about that. So Destiny, September 9th, PS4, okay? Hope you guys stay tuned for that. Now, there's a week gap from September 9th and there's nothing coming out the week after that at least that I want to cover so uh, there's a free month or a free week I may still be working on Destiny I may go back to Sims 4 you know what I mean I'm gonna try and go through as much I'm gonna play a lot of that trust me I'm gonna play a lot of Sims 4 I think it's gonna be fun as hell so I'm that's one of the games I'm really looking forward to because I was a Simsaholic I played all Sims 1 all Sims 2 never played Sims 3 because my PC at the time was just not good enough for it but now my PC is beast and I can run Sims 4 I mean, there's a few things with Sims 4 that I'm upset about that they took out. I'll probably get into it a little bit more when I get into the game. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. And the reason they do that is so they can release expansion packs down the road. So that uh, you're forced to buy basic features. Like, I don't know. I mean, it, it's kind of annoying. You know what I mean? Stupid stuff. Like, no gardeners. No no uh, mailman. No, no, like, basic stuff. No toddlers. No swimming anymore, like it's bullshit. And wait, wait until the first DLC, you'll get like some of it back. Like it'll be like, oh, the swim fun expansion pack or something. Swimming trunks and all that basic stuff, but that's EA for you. Anyways, let's move on. So on the 26th of September, uh, oh, sorry, not 26th, 23rd, my bad. I will be getting FIFA 15. I never, I haven't covered a FIFA game yet, but I'm wanting to. There's a big break in time, so it'll give me a chance to play FIFA. A lot of people want to see me play these games. People love like my sports games. I, I've been, like I said, I never played too many racing games or sports games. 
in years past because I found that I, I could never quote unquote play through them. But now you can't. Of course you can. I just never had enough people to follow me now. But I'm at the point where I'm doing racing games. I've been doing racing games for a little while now. I've been a huge fan of racing games for as long as I can remember. It was one of my favorite game genres growing up. So for those of you saying, Dan, you never played racing games, I was like, that's all I would play. That was like my favorite one. Need for Speed from one all the way up. I played them all. Except for, I think there was a couple I never played. But I was a huge racing fan and I love playing. I remember to date, my favorite basketball game was NBA Live 2005. I, oh man, I love that. Doing the dunk contest and all that. Oh, I was so good at it. It was insane. But anyways... So yeah, like FIFA 15, I'll be playing that guy, and hopefully you guys will stick around and watch that one. I know a lot of people want me to wanted me to play FIFA 15. For those of you asking me, yes, I'll be playing FIFA 15, okay? So, perfect. Alright, so that comes out September 23rd on the PS4. I'll be doing it on PS4 as well. Okay, moving on. on we have a double release on the 30th of September. We, all, we have Forza Horizon 2. Uh, I'll be getting the day one edition. That's the only one they have the limited day one edition I think it comes with extra vehicles and skins or something like that on the Xbox one um, As well as the new Sherlock Holmes game Sherlock Holmes crimes and punishments I'll be getting that on PS4 as well now the, with Sherlock Holmes I may actually be getting that a few days early because uh, There's a company that wants me to play the game so they might send me the game. I'm not sure yet they, they, they messaged me a while back, I think a couple months back, uh, asking me if I wanted to do, uh, you know, cover uh, Sherlock Holmes. I'm like, I was going to play it anyway, but if you want to send it to me, you're damn right I'll play it. So that way I can get a head start on that, you know what I mean, and uh, have gameplay maybe uh, early in the day. I don't know what their embargo is on that one, but either early on September 30th or the day before, or day, two days before that. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see and touch base and see if that, uh, that gig is still available. I pre-ordered the game regardless. So, for those of you, you know, wondering, I, it will be getting done. I remember I played, uh, the, uh, what, Sherlock Holmes, uh, what was it called? I can't remember. The, I, there was a Sherlock Holmes game that I played uh, back in 2012. For those of you who were around, that one did pretty good. A lot of people came and watched that, that series. Uh, so, I'm sure, I hope, I hope a lot of you guys come back for this one. Another detective game, adventure game. Should be pretty cool, even though the other one kind of sucked. Hopefully this one's better. But it's always interesting, and I really I enjoyed the Sherlock Holmes games. So, that is what we have for September 2014. I know there's a couple of games that are coming out on the 9th, along with Destiny, that I was debating on. One was an MX vs. ATV game, uh, and the other one was NHL 15. To be honest, NHL... I don't know, man. I, I mean, being Canadian, I'm supposed to like hockey, but it's just not something I'm all that interested in. It's actually more of a stereotype than anything. Yeah, a lot of people love the NHL and you know, hockey here, but um, I don't know. My 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 brothers and my dad, they they love hockey. I I'm I'm the one who didn't. I'm the one who likes basketball. <laughs> so that's me. I guess I'm a different I'm a different flower. I've blossomed in a different sport, you know what I mean? So, and I, and I grew up playing soccer or football, if you will, uh, European football, or, you know what, it should just be called football, I've been calling it football lately, and American, one, the one, you know, Americans call football, I call that one American football, so, you, you get what I mean, I, 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 grew, I grew up playing that sport, like, as long as I can remember, since I was like six years old, I played it all the way up till I was, I think, uh, 15, so years and years and years I played soccer, or, or, or football, I should say football or soccer. <laughs> Sorry, just to, just to clarify. And uh, I love that sport, man. So that's probably why I'm playing this game too. Uh, I do really enjoy it. It's such a one. It's the atmosphere alone in the game. The fan, like the fans in it, it's just insane. So that's a lot of the reason why I'm getting it. So that is the game update, ladies and gentlemen, for September uh, 2014. Let me know which game you're looking forward to most this year, or sorry, most this month. I always like to I always like to mention this. People say, "Dan, you forgot this game. You forgot Call of Duty and stuff." <laughs> when I when I do a month, when I do a game update, it's for that month. What's going on in that month? A lot of people don't seem to understand that. Uh, if I was doing a game update that just simply added games to my list, you would have known already that I was doing those games. But like I say, I I, I cover what's coming up in the following month. That way you guys know because today is September first. Oh my God, no, not September first. No, <laughs> I don't want summer to be gone, man. We had a short ass summer, but I digress. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me let me know down below. Like I said in the comments, what are you looking forward to? If there's a game that I didn't mention that I don't that I that you maybe think I don't know about, 
let me know. Uh, but chances are I've scoured the internet pretty good, and I've seen all the games coming out this uh, this month, so I pick and choose what I wanted to play as well. Um, DLCs. If I missed any DLCs that you know I'm gonna be, I would cover. Don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, it really you got your guys' input helps me out a lot because it's I don't have a set site that says what DLCs are coming out. You usually have to follow like IGN or something like that, like a Game Inform and a Game Informer or whatever things like that to let you know what's coming out. But I don't always have you know the ability to do that. So any help you guys could give. Is, it would be great. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I've talked long enough. Stay tuned. By the way, I'm, I'm going to also post the um, giveaway winners video today along with this one uh, to let you know who is going to get... Uh, I, have I have five beta keys for Chaos Heroes Online to give away. So I'm going to be doing that. So stay tuned for that. If you are interested and you signed up, make sure you watch that, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. I have lots of content coming your way this month. I hope you stick around my channel for, to, to see it all. And yeah, thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. And we shall see you guys soon, hopefully. Sims 4 is next. Stay tuned for that. Take it easy, guys.